Map fans, wearologists, people who like to cartograph, welcome back. We are back in our farm and I am looking today at how we can tidy up our legend a little bit. If you remember, last time we were looking at this farming project, I had crop one and crop two, and then we had this errant thing which was not classified at all. Now we could just turn it off here and that gets rid of our features, that's quite nice, but we've still got this pesky thing in our legend. So if I double click on our fields, that will open up our categorized layer properties. Very nice, and we are categorizing on our decision. Now I'm just gonna delete all of these and show you what it looks like from the outset. So if I hit classify again, there we go, and we've got crop one, crop two, and then this is kind of like all of the values at the top here. So if I apply that, we can see that we've got our dark blue, all of the values. Now I could just turn it off here and apply and all that really does is turn it off here and it also turns it off in our fields. Now the problem with this is that when we go over to our print composer we are still going to have this blue symbol in there and we might not want it for whatever reason. So let's have a look at what that looks like in print composer. Here we are in Print Composer, and Print Composer, generally speaking, will mirror what we've got in the background there. So let us draw in a map. Boom. The map is drawn in. Excellent. And we can see that we've got our dark blue spot on there. Now if I turn this off in our map, and go back to Print Composer, it doesn't update until we hit this button, Update Preview. And it's gone. Turn it back on. Update preview, and there it is. Okay, so does this work for our legend? Well, let's have a look. So I'm going to draw in a legend, add a new legend. Marvellous. And we can see in our item properties here, we've got in the legend. And you'll notice that auto update is checked. So I would expect that that is going to update automatically what we have. So let's turn this off in our map, go back to Print Composer and update preview. Now has our legend updated? No, it has not. Huh. So if we turn off auto update and then we select this particular field that we'd like to get rid of, this one, and go down to the negative button, press that, and it's gone. Now we can turn it back on here in our map, go back to Print Composer, update the preview in our map, and you can see that our legend has not updated. So there may be other instances where you have things in your legend that you actually don't want there at all. Say for example buildings, I don't want that in anymore. So notice that auto update is off. I selected buildings and I'm just going to remove it. And it's gone. And we can see in our legend here in Print Composer, also gone. So that can be quite useful if you've turned off layers or whatever um, and your legend is not updating, just switch off this auto update, go in there and you can remove, reorder things, do whatever you like uh, using these item properties. So that's all, a uh, very quick one there. Um, don't forget to subscribe, we've had a real rush of subscribers recently which is awesome and I'm very much thinking that it's almost time for a competition. Once we hit a new milestone which is in my head then we will have a competition and I'll give away some free GIS stuff which will be very exciting. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up. Happy mapping!